Steve Jones here with the Hardscape Channel. I've got with me a very special guest, Rob Bowers, Director of Engineering from ICPI. Rob, thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, Rob, we, you know, we've had kind of a special day here at, uh, at, the, at our annual meeting at ICPI. I think I've got my third Canadian in the room. Mm. <laughs> Studio, sorry. <laughs> um, Rob, as, as Director of Engineering, you really take upon you a lot of responsibilities to help our the members of ICPI, the contractors in our industry, uh, in in diffusing some situations that may may come up. Mm -hmm. Can you tell our viewers, you know, how you go about that and what you can recommend to them, how they approach you and contact okay. you? Well, quite often we'll get I'll get a phone call from a contractor who's found themselves in a situation. You know, they're at odds with the city engineer or something. That's never happened. Mm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what, ha what, what happens quite often, I'll get a phone call from the contractor saying, you know, how can you help me out? What, is, what do you have? What can you do for me? Uh, and in a lot of cases, there's a bunch of things I can do. You know, one part is, you know, providing them with information, the correct information, the correct standards and guidelines that, that are available to them. Uh, but also quite often, I get requests to call that city engineer directly and um, you know the contractor will actually touch base with the city engineer and say hey I've got, I've got somebody who's you know an expert in the area they're gonna give you a call I'll typically give them a call call them up you know when you know when the city engineer realizes they're getting a call from the director of engineering from the interlocking concrete pavement Institute they probably take the call they're, they're interested in hearing what I have to say at least Quite often, I'll provide them with information, uh, resources, tools uh, available from ICPI, direct them to information on the ICPI website that you know helps in a lot of cases resolve those the questions that are being brought up. And even though myself occasionally at our company, because of the years I've been in the business, I get the, occasionally get a call like that too. And mm -hmm. many times I refer them to you get to ICPI. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I get involved when when I think I can help. Usually, it's it's trying to diffuse the uh, diffuse the situation because mm -hmm. a contractor has been pushing his uh, in, even though he ha may have the right concept or the right ideas, he's not getting it across or the guy's not listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it sometimes it requires that uh, third party involvement, mm -hmm. um, and whether it comes with the gray or balding hair or whatever, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever, uh, it, they listen. Sure. I think there's a certain amount of engineers want to speak to engineers. They want to talk to people who speak their language. Uh, and, you know, I'm in a unique position where I actually have to talk to contractors quite often, where I have to, you know, speak a contractor's language, but then literally turn around and have to speak to an engineer and speak their language. You're, you're the translator. Exactly. <clears throat> well, that's, that is such an important function because I feel... You know, and, and, and maybe that's a project for you to work on is uh, develop that little, uh, that, that translation program <laughs> for <laughs> contractor to engineer. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, sir, I don't quite believe what you're saying. What? <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. But we have, you know, and, and I still see, and I'm sure you see it quite a bit more than I do, is that there's resistance out there to using uh, segmental paving because of failures that have occurred and things. Mm -hmm. and, and I refer, I usually find those failures refer back to, to contractors either that were not experienced or qualified to do the work or they had their own opinion on how work should be done. Mm -hmm. And that usually, not always, but usually leads to some sort of failure, mm -hmm. which then reflects upon the industry as a whole. Yeah, you, you could call it failure. You know, also you could say, you know, poor performance. You know, because failure quite often is that disaster. You know, disaster. Mm. Whereas, True. Whereas, you know, poor performance may just be, you know, rutting. Fair. And I think that's what a lot of people see and that's what a lot of people have issue with. You know? Well, I agree that the, the terminology is correct because failure is a disaster. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, what, but even though we may call it a poor performance in the customer's eyes. Mm-hmm. You know, Sure, it's a disaster. So we have to, we have to accept their level of, uh, right. I think, of a feeling mm -hmm. on a situation. Sure, <clears throat> but it go, a lot of it goes back to not following standards, or, or maybe not even understanding standards. Mm -hmm. 
which is why your involvement in, in helping develop curriculums for education and training for contractors mm -hmm. in our association is so critical. Sure. I'd even take it one step farther, you know, to say that maybe they don't even realize there are standards. <laughs> oh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> I agree. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to disagree. That's 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 very true. And the sad thing is, is that even if they know their standards, they've never read them. Mm -hmm. exactly. And many times, they, even if they've read them, they won't implement them. Mm -hmm. And it's a struggle. I'm, I'm as a contractor, I, I had a huge ego. As I grew older, I, the world taught me taught me many lessons. And my <laughs> ego got smaller and smaller. And pretty soon, I could fit through a regular doorway. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, contractors are a unique uh, brand of individual because you don't go out wild-eyed and crazy into the world to conquer, conquer the paving world unless you're somewhat not normal. Mm. <laughs> and But that's okay because it takes people like that to grow things, to push. Um, and, it only, and, and, and most of these guys, and I, I would include myself years ago into this, is that you're not, you're not receptive. Mm -hmm. You got an opinion, I'm mm -hmm. going to stick to it. I'm famous for that. You throw enough logic in my path, I trip enough times, and eventually I'll agree. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it takes an overwhelming logic and, and, and mm -hmm. stuff to convince me. Sure. So contractors in general, I, I feel, are, and I shouldn't make, <clears throat> I'm pretty fair generalizing here. I mean, we run into the guys. Every one that has gone enough years starts to listen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we, we talk so often that these that coming to ICPI meetings and coming to Hardscape North America mm -hmm. and being able to meet, talk, and share with their contemporaries. Yes. People they can respect. Mm -hmm. People that have succeeded. Mm -hmm. It opens a whole new vista of, of understanding. Mm -hmm. And then, they're, then, they're, then the resistance to learning starts to go away. Sure. And that... Is, is, is truly what, what we're trying to achieve. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, like you are saying, Hardscape North America, that's a great opportunity for well, that. Well, we're going to talk about that in just a moment. <laughs> but it, if you guys ever have a problem, con general contractor, engineer, architect, that comes to technical issues and you find yourself unable to bully your way through it, convince them, whatever, don't go too far. Call Rob. Mm -hmm. And Rob's contact information, where can they find that? On the ICPI website on our staff information page. ICPI.org. We have a staff engineer ready to do battle for you. Rob, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Steve. This is Steve Jones, Rob Bowers, signing off.